China is rapidly becoming a leading innovator in advanced industries. China's new quantum machine runs 1 million times faster than Google's. China ranks number 3 worldwide in robot density, overtaking Germany and Japan. Have you noticed how more and more headlines claim that China is making massive strides in nearly every technological field? From AI and robotics to energy, automotive and drones, it's not just catching up to the West. In some areas, it's already pulling ahead. But what's the secret behind this rapid rise? Just a couple of decades ago, China was mainly known for cheap, low-quality products. So how did it transform into a global tech powerhouse? Today, we're diving deep into China's tech revolution. What's driving it and which projects prove it? You're on the World 5.0 channel. Let's dive in. Let's not just take these claims at face value. Let's look at the numbers, check out China's key tech developments, and figure out what's driving this innovation. Let's start with artificial intelligence. China is actively developing its own large language models, such as Baidu's Ernie 4 and ByteDance's Dubao 1.5 Pro, which are competing with Western counterparts like GPT-4. For instance, Dubao, released in January 2025, reportedly outperforms GPT-40 in language comprehension, math and coding, all while being 50 times cheaper. Chinese models are achieving success thanks to the use of advanced algorithms and architectures, including approaches like the mixture of experts. Alibaba introduced the Quen 2.5 Max model, which has reached world-class performance in benchmarks and is betting on openness by publishing the source code of its developments. Recently, DeepSeek has gained attention with its DeepSeek R1 model, which delivers impressive results at a fraction of the cost. Meanwhile, Tencent developed the large language model Hunyuan, which in 2023 powered the integration of an AI assistant named Yuan Bao directly into WeChat, China's largest messaging super app. This assistant has direct access to WeChat's vast data ecosystem, messages, posts, etc., something Western counterparts lack. In the field of generative graphics, Chinese developments are also outpacing Western rivals. Alibaba's 1.2.1 model enables the creation of high-quality, high-resolution images and videos, leading the way in terms of object interaction within frames. The same startup, DeepSeek, with its Janus Pro 7B model, has surpassed Western counterparts thanks to innovative and cost-efficient algorithms. The open access to such solutions accelerates their widespread adoption. In other sectors, such as medicine, China is applying AI across the medical field, from diagnostics and data analysis to robotic surgery and smart hospitals. Sources highlight a significant number of certified AI devices, including Class 3 certifications from the NMPA, with mentions of DeepWise and Shukun Technology receiving approvals in 2020 to 2021. Smart hospitals and AI-driven facilities such as Tsinghua University's Asian Hospital, along with robotic surgeons, demonstrate practical effectiveness and integration into real-world medical practice. Huawei is also pushing forward with AI in medicine. Despite US sanctions, its Ascend 910B chips are powering tools like CARES Copilot 2.0 for surgical planning. Let's talk about cars. First of all, did you know that China is now the world's biggest car producer and seller? In 2023, China built a staggering 30 million cars, more than the United States and the entire Europe Union combined. The United States made just 10 million and the Europe 18 million. That's not just a lead, it's domination. As for vehicles running on alternative fuels, Chinese models are showing a significant rise in popularity, especially in the domestic market. In 2024, BYD sold 4.3 million electric and hybrid cars, 41% more than the year before, beating Tesla in China. Secondly, China is going all-in on self-driving cars and robotaxis. They're no longer just experiments. Baidu's Apollo Go, China's leading robotaxi service, completed 9 million rides in 2024. 1 million in just the last quarter, up about 36% from the year before. In February 2025, Baidu announced a full transition to driverless mode on permitted road sections, having logged over 130 million kilometers of autonomous driving, highlighting the scale and maturity of the technology. This includes cities like Wuhan, Beijing, and Shenzhen, where the platform offers fully autonomous rides. Meanwhile, Waymo is still catching up. It's expanding in U.S. cities like L.A. and San Francisco, but still needs remote operators in case of emergencies, unlike China's fully driverless taxis. 
China has selected 20 pilot cities to develop V2X infrastructure and cloud-based drone management systems, issuing thousands of testing licenses. This underscores the level of government support and a scale that surpasses the United States. Not long ago, Chinese cars had a terrible reputation. Cheap, unreliable, poorly made. But things have really changed. Now Chinese automakers have significantly improved the quality of their products, as confirmed by research and reliability ratings. For instance, in 2023, models from BYD, Xpeng, and NIO received top safety ratings from Euro NCAP, with nine Chinese models, including the BYD Dolphin, Seal, Tang, Xpeng G9, NIO EL7, and ET5, earning five-star Euro NCAP ratings. The NIO ET5 even became the safest car tested in 2023, confirming compliance with high international standards. That's a huge shift from just five to 10 years ago when Chinese cars were seen as low quality. Now they're winning top safety awards and competing with the best in the whole world. So let's talk about robots. Over the last five years, China has skyrocketed in robotics, pulling ahead of Western rivals in both speed and scale. A major milestone? China's humanoid robots are already working on factory floors. Take the Ubitech Walker S. Thousands of them are inspecting cars at NIO and Dongfeng's plants. Meanwhile, Tesla is still in the testing phase, while Chinese companies like Ubitech and Ajibot have already rolled out thousands of robots. In medicine, China is no longer relying on Western systems like Da Vinci. Instead, it's developing its own surgical robots, like the Skywalker from Shanghai Medbot. This robot received FDA approval in 2022 for orthopedic procedures. More recently, in January of this year, Skywalker was successfully used for its first clinical operation in Brazil, indicating its growing international acceptance. And here's a crazy fact. China was the first country to perform a remote surgery over 5G. In 2019, doctors operated on a Parkinson's patient from 3,000 kilometers away. That's next-level telemedicine. What about home robots? Take the GR1 from Fourier Intelligence. It's designed to help patients in hospitals and nursing homes, and mass production started in late 2023. These robots are designed to assist elderly individuals and patients, performing tasks such as carrying objects and supporting rehabilitation. In October 2024, Fourier Intelligence unveiled an updated GR2 model demonstrating the ongoing advancement of the technology. These robots could very well be considered household companions too. Alongside the GR models, other Chinese companies like Ajibot have also started mass production of humanoid robots for general use. And it's not just factories and hospitals. Service robots are taking over too. Have you ever met robots in restaurants or cafes? There's a good chance it was Pudu Robotics. They control nearly a quarter of the global market for service robots. This is supported by data on global shipments. Pudu has delivered over 70,000 units of its robots to more than 60 countries and regions. Another company, Keenan, also shows a significant presence, with robots deployed in over 500 cities in China and across 60 countries globally, boasting a daily activity rate of more than 35,000 units. China isn't stopping there. Its warehouses and delivery networks are already packed with autonomous robots. Companies like Geek Plus and Kainiao are massively automating warehouses and goods delivery, surpassing Western companies in the number of deployed autonomous machines. Geek Plus is shaking up warehouse automation. By 2021, they had already deployed 20,000 robots worldwide, working with giants like UPS, Adidas, and Walmart. Kai Niao is also taking warehouse automation to the next level. In 2024, its network handled over 5 million international packages a day, speeding up deliveries in China and beyond. In 2022, China installed more industrial robots than the United States and Europe combined, 52% of the global total. That's 322 robots for every 10,000 workers, more than in the United States. And here's where things get even more futuristic. China is developing military robots, including robo-wolves and autonomous combat drones. Details are scarce, but one thing is clear. They're already competing with the best the United States has to offer. Speaking of drones, when it comes to drones, China is the undisputed leader. Take DJI. This company controls nearly 70% of the global consumer drone market. And these drones are everywhere, from filmmaking and farming to logistic and security. But it's not just about popularity. Chinese drones are packed with cutting-edge tech. DJI's drones don't just fly, they think. Autopilot, computer vision, machine learning, they can recognize objects and navigate on their own. 
China is not just leading in tech, it's also dominating green energy. By 2024, it produced 40% of the world's solar power, generating nearly 900 gigawatts. China also dominates solar panel production. It makes nearly all the key components, 97% of silicon wafers, 90% of polysilicon, and over 80% of solar cells. The biggest players, Longjiai Solar, Trina Solar, and Jinko Solar, among others. By 2024, China had built a staggering 4.2 million 5G base stations. And it's not stopping. Another 4.5 million are planned for 2025. The next step, sixth generation. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. So what's driving this insane level of growth? Let's break it down. China's rapid technological growth is largely fueled by the government's strategic focus on innovation. Unlike many Western countries, where private companies lead progress, China has a clear state-led program that's well-funded and backed by regulatory support. The state initiative, Made in China 2025, launched in 2015, set ambitious modernization benchmarks. Its goal? Shift from being the world's factory of cheap goods to a high-tech manufacturing powerhouse. The program targets 10 priority industries like electric vehicles, robotics, AI, aerospace, semiconductors, and biotechnology, and aims to localize up to 70% of key components by 2025. By 2018, an estimated $300 billion had already been invested, with at least $1.4 trillion added later. As 2025 approaches, most MIC25 targets have been met, driving China's rise in electric vehicle production and the Global Innovation Index. Later, in 2017, the State Council approved the New Generation AI Plan aiming to make China the world's AI leader by 2030. This vision translates into multiple government initiatives spanning workforce training, research funding, and tech integration. The Chinese government and state-owned banks pour huge sums into AI, offering tax breaks and grants, and establishing high-tech investment funds. For instance, in March 2025, the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China launched an $11 billion fund for innovation, including AI. State venture capital funds also back AI startups, especially in regions overlooked by private investors. This targeted support has enabled dozens of Chinese AI firms to grow tenfold or even hundredfold. Additionally, the government invests in fundamental research. National AI research centers have been established, along with labs at top universities like Tsinghua University and joint corporate academic facilities. This approach has allowed China to outspend the United States in direct government AI funding. Large state contracts for smart city projects or surveillance ensure a steady market for AI solutions, helping Chinese companies grow faster than many Western rivals. At the same time, the US and Europe rely more on venture capital and corporate funding, and their unified strategy develops more slowly. The Chinese model enables faster scaling of breakthrough ideas. Companies benefit from a massive domestic market and state support, giving them an edge over Western competitors. Another clear edge for China is its massive data pool, essential for AI training. The phrase, data is the new oil, rings especially true here, as over a billion users generate data on integrated platforms like WeChat or Alipay, along with extensive urban surveillance and smart systems. This data is not only huge in scale, but also heavily localized, as Chinese law restricts exporting personal information. Government oversight and more flexible data policies let Chinese AI developers train algorithms on vast amounts of real-world information. As a result, China rapidly develops efficient AI systems, from TikTok's recommendations to smart city management, trained on real user behavior. Large, localized data sets boost the accuracy of these models, helping Chinese companies achieve major breakthroughs in AI. And who produces this data? That's right, people. Human capital is another key factor China is deliberately cultivating to achieve tech leadership. For instance, in 2022, China graduated about 1.6 million engineers, far exceeding the US, which awarded around 144,000 engineering bachelor's degrees in 2020. In recent years, this gap has approached 9 to 10 times in China's favor. Though earlier, such as in 2006, it was around 8.5 times, 600,000 in China versus 70,000 in the US. 
state programs like Projects 211 and 985, along with the Double First Class Initiative, have established a network of world-class universities and research centers. Universities such as Tsinghua and Peking University rank among the top 100 in global rankings like Times Higher Education and US News. This focus on education has led to a huge surge in scientific output. In 2022, Chinese scientists published about 400,000 research papers, surpassing the nearly 300,000 from the US. This trend is especially strong in materials science, chemistry, engineering, and mathematics. Studies also show that China leads the US in highly cited papers, indicating higher research quality. China is also patenting high-tech inventions at a rapid pace. In 2022, it filed around 68,000 international patents, surpassing the combined totals of the United States, Europe Union, and South Korea. All these factors, robust government support, vast data resources, and a growing pool of skilled workers give China a significant advantage in shaping the next era of global technology. Of course, technological progress requires a strong legal foundation, and China is taking the lead by actively developing its own regulations for the safe and controlled growth of AI. In 2023, China's interim measures for the management of generative AI services took effect, making it the first country to enact specific rules for generative models. By comparison, the European AI Act was published only in June 2024 and will be rolled out fully by 2026. Under China's regulations, companies must conduct safety assessments, label AI-generated content, and prevent the circulation of prohibited information. While critics see these steps as largely censorship-oriented, they also offer businesses clear guidelines, something still missing in many Western nations. China also passed the Personal Information Protection Law in 2021, establishing data use rules vital for fields like medical AI. In addition, it introduced standards for autonomous vehicles, robotics, and other sectors. The government aims to balance innovation with oversight. On one hand, regulatory sandboxes and pilot zones lower barriers to experimentation. On the other, strict safety requirements help safeguard social stability and national security. This progress also relies on a solid material foundation. Acknowledging AI's need for immense computing power and vast data resources, China has embarked on ambitious infrastructure projects to support its rapid expansion. To meet AI demands, China is building supercomputing centers specifically designed for AI workloads. In 2023, China Telecom unveiled a new supercomputer in Wuhan, fully made with domestic components and capable of training models with trillions of parameters. It uses advanced liquid cooling and operates at a power usage effectiveness below 1.15, reflecting remarkable energy efficiency. China also deploys several exaflop-scale supercomputers like OceanLight and Tianhe 3 that remain absent from public top 500 lists due to their classified status but are used for AI and scientific research. Meanwhile, the Eastern Data Western Computing Initiative is building a nationwide network of data centers optimized for storing and processing massive datasets, including neural network training. No Western nation has an integrated infrastructure on this scale. Thus, China's remarkable technological leadership stems from deliberate efforts by both the government and broader society. Strategic programs have set clear development goals. The population's openness to technology, together with massive data resources, has fueled AI breakthroughs. Substantial investments and subsidies have propelled corporate growth and millions of highly trained specialists continue to drive innovation. Complementing these factors, a well-structured economic policy has laid a solid foundation for high-tech progress. As a result, China has made a rapid leap forward, emerging as a leader in several critical technologies and reshaping the global tech landscape. In its tech sector, China merges key strengths and converts them into competitive advantages on the global stage. If these trends continue, China will increasingly rival the United States and Europe across multiple domains. Indeed, it already shows clear leadership in certain areas. To sustain its momentum, China must keep innovating while addressing ethical and social risks, ensuring that technological growth remains both sustainable and beneficial to society over the long term. What all this means for all of us, ordinary people, is a separate topic altogether. We hope this video was helpful for you. Let us know in the comments what you think about China's development. Don't forget to check out our Telegram and see you soon.